Hello football fans, and welcome to my channel. I am Keegan D'Souza bringing you all the updates in the Indian football. If you're new here please subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked it and share it with your groups. In this video I would be talking about ATK Mohan Baghan FC new logo and jersey. The schedule for Indian Super League 2020-21 and the I-League 2020-21. Squad and new regulations. The venues for the league. A FC commitment for football matches in 2020. Ranjit Bajaj with his interest in East Bengal FC. The national team for the FIFA World Cup qualifier 2022. And some other club updates. So sit back, relax, and watch the video till the very end. ATK Mohan Baghan retains the iconic green and maroon jersey. The logo gets a new look. ATK Mohan Baghan FC will be the new name of the club. The logo retains its essence as the boatman along with the green and maroon sails continue to feature. In the new logo, 1889 is not featured. And the word ATK is added before Mohan Baghan. ISL 2020-21 season. As per the new regulation, an ISL club could sign maximum of six foreigners in the squad, including a compulsory Asian origin player with four foreigners on the field. The tentative date is the 22nd of November. Goa, Kerala, Mumbai, and Kolkata might be one of the venues. The maximum squad size will also be increased as the clubs will be allowed to register up to 35 players in their squad. ISL 2021 could all teams undergo preseason at the same location? With the competition set to be moved to one venue for the upcoming season, the teams are likely to conduct their preseason together as well. I League 2021 season matches to be held in West Bengal. The Indian FA might consider West Bengal as a centralized venue to host the I League 2021 season. Three clubs jostle for loan direct spot in I-League. All three clubs who picked up the bid papers for a direct spot in the I-League have submitted their bids before the deadline of July 8th. Sudhav FC from Delhi, Sri Nidhi Football Club from Visakhapatnam, and Rinto SC from Shillong have submitted their financial and technical bids to the All India Football Federation. AFC reiterates commitment to complete 2020 competitions with new calendar. The Asian Football Confederation has reiterated its commitment to complete all its competitions lined up in 2020 with a new calendar, including India's World Cup qualifiers against Qatar and Afghanistan in October and November respectively, despite the COVID-19 pandemic. Following a series of constructive discussions with its member associations, league, and clubs, the Asian Football Confederation has now produced a calendar for concluding the national team, club and futsal competition in 2020. Ranjit Bajaj makes his pitch to buy Quest East Bengal FC shares. Ranjit Bajaj, former owner of Minerva Punjab FC, Bajaj said he has approached Quess and offered to buy out their 70% share in the club, and therefore assuming ownership of all sporting rights. It remains to be seen whether Quess and indeed the Quess East Bengal FC Board of Directors will give their approval to clear the path for Ranjit Bajaj. Ranjit Bajaj said he along with Quess have already prepared a preliminary draft document to start the process but will wait till the end of this month to make any further moves. Now time for some national team news. Croatia ready to host India for training before World Cup qualifiers in October and November 2020. Indian national team coach Igor Stimak and his squad may train in Croatia if the coronavirus situation does not improve in India. The Indian national team will be welcomed in Croatia to train before their 2022 World Cup qualifiers scheduled in October and November. The Croatian Federation would provide hospitality and help organize friendly games, provided the Indian team wishes to hold the preparatory camp in the European nation. So these were the main highlights from Indian national team and Indian leagues. 
Let's move on to other updates from the other clubs and their transfer updates and all other rumors. Kerala Blasters likely to sign Colombian defender Osvaldo Henriquez. Kerala Blasters are in advance talks to make Colombian defender Osvaldo Henriquez their first foreign signing of the summer. The Kochi-based club has been in talks with at least a couple of South American footballers recently, and has zeroed in on the 31-year-old Henriquez, who could soon become the club's first new foreign signing for the 2020-21 season. Kerala Blasters have signed goalkeeper Albino Gomez for the upcoming season. Rumor update, Salam Ranjan Singh is linked with Kerala Blasters, could this be a perfect replacement for Sandesh Jinghan? Salam Ranjan Singh last played for ATK and ISL, the centre back is 24 years old and his market worth is rupees 6.25 million. Second rumour update. Ubard CK is linked with Northeast United FC, could this be a good move? Ubard CK plays as a goalkeeper, the 30-year-old has a market worth of rupees 8.33 million, and has last played for Gokulam Kerala FC. News from the Mohammedan Sporting Club. Mohammedan Sporting signees Kingsley and retain eight footballers. Mohammedan Sporting Club on Tuesday announced the signing of Nigerian defender Ease Kingsley in a press conference held at Club Tent. The 23-year-old who last played for Punjab FC in 2019-20 I League has played for the likes of United Sports Club, Peerless SC, Azal FC, and Mohan Baghun. Kingsley was part of the A's All-FC team which won the I-League in 2016-17 season. Beside Kingsley, the club has also extended the contracts of Priyant Singh, Tertankar Sarkar, Hira Mundal, Sujit Sadhu, Shafiel Rahman, Faraj Ali, Sujoy Duda, and Arajit Singh. That is all the news covered from the last week from the Indian football leagues and clubs. I hope you have liked it. Please let me know in the comments section below what news you liked. Also tell me what news did I miss so that I can cover them up in detail in my next series of videos on the Indian football leagues and clubs. That is all for this video. Stay safe, take care and thanks for watching. Also please subscribe to my channel Keegan D'Souza and like this video and do check out the previous videos.